Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the stability of the Fedora 43 beta. We're going to start off with, they thought it was a good idea to ship Python 3.14. It's not. This not only breaks DaVinci's Resolve, but a few other applications as well. The main one being DaVinci's Resolve. And that sucks. For one particular reason, because this is one of the apps that ends up running the best on Fedora. So uh, having it broken is not a good thing. And uh, it tends to bug me a lot. Also, I made this pretty icon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hope you like it. You can find it in the Discord. Now, uh, with that out of the way, when I went to launch DaVinci's Resolve after the first time installing it, it would crash. Normally, you would do a command to remove outdated libraries that would make it not crash. I already did that. So this crash was something completely different, and I remember the crash log mentioning the fact that Python 3.14 was being used, and that DaVinci's Resolve didn't like that. Uh, thankfully, they did recompile GNOME tweaks to use Python 3.14. Uh, Messen, on the other hand, uh, end up having issues and errors. So I had to completely recompile Messen, Ninja, a whole bunch of other dependencies to use the proper version of Python to be able to build GNOME tweaks again for Python 3.13, which was a complete pain in the ass. So that's my journey so far on making it stable, I guess. Uh, as for gaming, uh, there was some weird issues with gaming. They are minor. Performance for the high parts. One second. Performance for high parts. Like if I went to Guild Wars 2 right now, uh, like in areas where I'd normally get 240 FPS, which is the engine's max, I would end up getting only 120, which is not normal. And if I ended up going... Uh, back into um, a different distro like Pico OS, the max FPS would be 240. So there's definitely something weird going on. Like right here, normally I would get 240. This is one of the lightest areas you could ever possibly imagine. Let's turn this way, you can see there's 240. Now, um, a very consistent area where you can tell if the Guild Wars 2 developers optimized or not is the wizard's tower you just spawn in just like i'm doing right now probably don't have very much gold left so and then that's it you just stay right here and if you get 80 to 84 fps great because it used to be 50 so the performance has definitely gone up and you do this yep that's about 70 and you zoom all the way in just look up a little bit and the FPS cripples itself because you're looking at way more. But if you want better FPS, just look down. Yeah. But normally when turning around, just like this, you would normally get 304. You get 240 FPS no matter who you are. And uh, as you can see, our CPU is barely doing anything. Our GPU is barely doing anything. And I don't know what is going on with the performance but for some reason it's just missing so let's try to max out the shadows yeah see that shouldn't happen because our gpu barely went up right let's just max everything out our gpu is going down in uh performance here like uh, in percentage being utilized the more we push it the more it hurts and this is not normal like right there, I increased the resolution internally and the performance that the GPU utilization went up. Okay, so we're going to Alt F4 out of there. And I think I just figured out the reason why it's doing this. It's so, so, so stupid. Watch this. Launch with integrated. Fedora 43 has this weird issue where um, it's launching Steam with the 4070 even though it's in the second slot instead of the primary slot so this is the bug that we're leading up to we're getting there okay Ooh, skimmers are going to get an update in the new dlc in the new expansion okay so now 
we are using, as you can see, 16 gigs of VRAM. We're using the 9070 XT, okay? And let it load in. Hopefully this doesn't take too long, because it shouldn't. It's on a very, very fast NVMe. <sighs> but then again, it has to rebuild some stuff, I guess. All right. So let's put the settings back the way we had them originally. Native, medium, lowest, lowest. Okay. But as you can see, the FPS is still not where it should be because it's still not treating the GPU properly. And over here, we have a little bit better FPS. That's because we switched to a more powerful GPU. But again, this FPS is not normal. Not by a long shot. So performance is a little bit all over the place and that's unfortunate. I'm not sure if that has to do with the message drivers, but if it happens on Nvidia as, on Nvidia as well, then it's also a problem. Now, I could always maybe let's see do we have the ability to change the... no we don't see now we're getting a little bit better performance because we're not rendering anything but looking out into this void this is what the fps should be but over there it's not and that is very very sad so i don't know what is happening but performance loss is never good okay um besides that ground 2 has some performance loss and uh, runescape's good dead island 2 is good grand theft auto 5 won't even load on my amd gpu it would just do a freeze all right, we're going to try to show off that freeze real quick. I don't know if it still happens or not, but I'm going to try to do my best to mimic it. So here we go. And hopefully it doesn't crash anything because it works just fine on the NVIDIA GPU at like 163 FPS. Even though that thing is in like a 4X slot, it's meant for recording and video editing, nothing else. <laughs> Now, other than these issues, stability on 43 is actually a lot better than it is on 42, uh, which means Fedora's glory days are back, and I'm very, very excited and happy about that. And if you just noticed, it launched with the 4070, not the 9070 XT. So that's just great. So now I have to restart the game. All right, game is restarted. Let's load this thing up. 16 gigs of VRAM, that's what we want to see. Good. Now, testing like this was done on live stream from installation. I just installed OBS and we started streaming. So nothing was done that could possibly interfere with anything. Uh, there is this weird bug with an extension where if I have it enabled and I move a window to another monitor, uh, it will crash out to login. I actually disabled that plugin and everything works fine. Extension, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Okay. So loading up. I got a freeze on live stream. Let's see if it still freezes. Because usually it's in game by now. GTA 5 loads very quickly. Okay. Okay, that's kind of nice. There we go. Uh, as for settings, graphics. Ignore everything. Frame limit, V-Sync's off. Ray tracing is all maxed out. Frame scaling. Yeah, why not? Let's jump in the good car. Well, it seems to be working now, which is nice.
Well, why not, Franklin? It's not like you're driving. There we go. Let's head into town. All right. Well, that's pretty clear that things are no longer crashing, and that's because there was a mess update later earlier today. So that's something. I haven't tried out their frame generation yet, GTA. Ooh, motorcycle. Frame generation seems to work pretty well. So I'm glad that they fixed this issue when they updated Mesa. Oh god, poor Franklin. Franklin, get up. I wonder what? Is that guy dead? Oh yeah, he's really dead. Car's not damaged though. So, moving on from all of this. Uh, my initial takeaway so far from the last couple days of using this is, yeah... It's a lot more stable than Fedora 42, minus some minor performance issues, which will probably be fixed later on. You're welcome. Don't you get your ass diddied anytime soon. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now he doesn't need to worry about his bike anymore. <sighs> keep it up, Fedora. This is all I'm asking you, is to keep it up. So far, you're heading down a good way. All I'm asking is that you keep going in the right direction. We do not need another Fedora 42. We need Fedora 43 to fix every one of the bugs, every one of the issues, and not to KDE itself into destruction, okay? That's all I'm asking. Um, I will probably be attempting to test KDE 6.5. I'm not sure if I should do it in a virtual machine or an install of Arch Linux. I will figure something out. But uh, with that, I am off. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's not as in-depth as normal, but that's how you know it's really good because I haven't really said very much. Anyway, I'm going to go drive around for the next five minutes and then go to bed. See you at 9 a.m. Subscribe. Like the video. Yeah, you right there.